Through citizen journalism, info is easily spread through personal websites, blogs, social media, and so on. One, provides different perspectives. A way to hear from random citizens what simply happens in their daily lives. Two, easier access to current events. With social media apps such as Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, dissemination of news all over the online community is easier and faster. Three, assist professional journalists. The public may have the chance to inform professional journalists about the current events happening in a particular area. Local and national TV stations and newspapers did an adequate job of covering the destructive fires that blackened much of California in 2007. However, it was the citizens who uploaded video to YouTube, posted Twitter updates, and submitted amateur media to news stations that really provided the up-to-minute coverage many fire victims were so desperately seeking. In 2007, Virginia Tech University graduate student Jamal decided to take reporting into his own hands. He took out his cell phone in the middle of the shooting and took approximately a minute-long video that captured the sounds of gunshots and later sent it to CNN. He recorded the video from approximately 200 feet away from the gunshots and offered arguably the best coverage of the events that unfolded that day. The Hudson River plane crashed in 2009. When U.S. Airways Flight 1549 crash-landed in the Hudson River, it was for some news organizations the first mention of Twitter, or more specifically, a citizen's tweet and photo of the 155 passengers being rescued from the downed aircraft. However, even though traditional news organizations quickly picked up on the story, they still lagged behind those citizens empowered by social media who broke the story first. More downfalls of citizen journalism. Sometimes it can be potentially inaccurate. Two, lack of credibility. Three, lacking in quality and content. using Powtoon.